we're here for motorboats once a day in Southampton on a rather interesting boat test. We're testing the brand new Broom 430. But what makes this particularly interesting is we're not just going out into the Solent as we normally do, we're taking this one to Jersey for the Jersey Boat Show. We're just fueling up now, in about 10 minutes we'll be on our way. Well, we're all fueled up now, we've cleared the Itchin River, the sea's looking flat, the weather's brightening up, and our next stop is Jersey. halfway now, we've been running for about two hours, and we're cruising at about 22 knots, which is about 3,000 RPM, and it's proving a very comfortable experience. The thing that works so well on this boat is the fact that because Broom have put the helm on the aft deck rather than the separate fire bridge, you've got a great compromised situation. We're not inside the boat, we're very much outside, we've got great visibility, a good vantage point. But with these high screens, we've got a hard top on this boat and we've got the cover still in place. We're really well protected, really well sheltered, not driving along with the wind in our face, but we've got the vents open above us and just a nice open air experience. Land at last, we've got Albany off our starboard side at the moment, and we're currently going through the Albany race. We drop the speed right back, we're doing about 15 knots, which is a bit more comfortable through this. But the impressive thing is that we haven't had a single drop of spray onto the screen. It's a solar displacement boat, and what that means is it does tend to cut through the water rather than over it, and they can often be a lot better. But on this one, it really is pumping everything out rather than over the boat. So we're safely tied up in St Helier and my next job is to jump on the plane and fly back to the UK but before I do that I will give you a quick run around the rest of this boat. First of all here at the helm the one thing that really strikes me is important is these double seats here. They're height adjustable, the backrest tilt and they're a really comfortable place to spend several hours as we've done today. The other nice thing about this area is that the whole cockpit area up here is all on one level. You don't get the split level that you get with a flybridge boat so anybody sat at the back around the table we're on for the ride, you're all together in one area. But there's one other great feature about this boat and I'll show you that next. Now we featured this boat in our Dusseldorf report so I'll just give a very quick roundup of the interior. Basically it's classic broom but brought bang up to date. In this area here you've got a big saloon area, there's a dinette over on the starboard side, table unfolds to make that a lot bigger and there's a chalange on the port side and the base of that will come around the table to give more dining. Back aft You've got your master cabin, that's also got a chalange in it as well, and some big transom windows, and it's got an ensuite and then a separate shower store, which is nice. Further forward on this particular boat, the galley is to the starboard side, and that's opposite a day heads, which is ensuite to a forward cabin that's got scissor berths. But the important thing to remember with these brooms is they will offer quite a variety of layouts. So if this isn't quite the layout for you, there are other ones that you can choose from. Now the problem with a lot of aft cabin boats is that the whole deck area is very high. You end up with steps on the side decks, and the side decks themselves are a long way up. But on this broom, they've managed to incorporate a nice slope down here. When you get to here, there's a gate in the side decks, and it's actually quite possible to step on off the boat without needing a ladder. 